into April. This video is for your sun sign. And while you can use it for any part of your chart, this video right here is going to tell you why it is for your sun sign and then how you should also be using, you know, your rising sign, your moon sign to navigate different things like the love video right here that's going to be coming out pretty soon as well as the career video over here that you can be looking forward to. And so if you want to catch those, make sure that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell and let's get started. This month, we're going to look at the general theme, the beginning, middle, and end of the month, what's going to be going super well for you this month, what's your biggest challenge going to be, what you should be avoiding this month, and then the best way to use this month to your advantage, as well as finding out what your crystal of the month is. The decks that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tribe Tarot and the Fuck It deck. If you want information on those, I do have affiliate links in the bottom because a bitch has to get paid. Okay, here we go. Libra, the general theme for your month is that things are not changing, things are not growing. Um, you are maybe cocooning yourself but not emerging as a butterfly just yet. Now, how do we change that? And they're like, well, you can't as long as you're still worrying, as long as you're still panicking, as long as you still have anxiety. So how do we get rid of that anxiety, Libra? They're saying, well, first of all, stop thinking about what you don't want, right? I mean, everything needs to be in balance. You are the sign of balance, so balance your shit out, okay? If you're going to have negative thoughts, that's okay as long as they're contrasted with positive ones, with hopeful ones, right? So yes, this is about your mindset, but we want to bring balance in all over the place. We want to balance our finances. We want to balance our budget. We want to balance our work-life stuff, you know, all of that stuff. Um, this is a huge month for balance for you if you want it to go well. So what should we be expecting in the beginning of the month? And they're saying that anxiety I talked about. Okay, duh. <laughs> um, what should we, be experiencing in the middle of the month and they're saying you know it's interesting because leo cancer I, and virgo i think all of them kind of had and maybe this is because of social distancing or whatever that's going on with the coronavirus but they had this energy of like we're not going to be i'm not going to be as social i'm not going to be as talk talkative with other people which i mean if you're home you could still be on the phone right but there's just like less communication going on and um, it's hitting for you a little bit later in the month. And they're saying, um, and it's more because finally at that point, you're going, okay, well, if I'm gonna get things done, I need to just really buckle down and do that in order to create that balance that I need. Towards the end of the month, what they're saying is not dissimilar from what Cancer had either. Is It's like, we know that there is not anything from the past that's like gonna come up now that should make us scared or afraid. You know, history isn't gonna repeat itself. Like things that used to freak us out, they really don't anymore and that's a good thing. Um, so what's gonna be going super well for you this month overall? And they're like, uh, you're in a cycle that hasn't ended. And why is that a good thing? Well, because not all cycles are bad, right? But because they're also saying that because this is a cycle in which you get to take full control and mastery over your life, you don't have a choice. You're being taught to do that. You're being taught to make decisions on your own, to stand in your own, which is not always easy for Libras, right? You wanna please people and um, you have a hard time deciding <laughs> notoriously. But they're saying this, this month, this is all about you and it doesn't feel normal and it doesn't feel natural um but if you bring your spirituality into balance and you ask for assistance and guidance with that then it becomes easier for you so um they're saying you know all you have to do is ask but it, it's not about asking other people it's about asking the spirit world god you know um i don't know who do catholics pray to jesus or mary um you know, your spirit guides, angels, whatever. It's, that's what you wanna do here. You wanna ask for that spiritual guidance, that insight. Now, what is it that you should be avoiding this month? And same thing that Leo has had. They say, life isn't fair, but you're awesome anyway, okay? So yeah, sometimes shit happens and it sucks and it's, it's not fair. We didn't deserve it, right? But we can learn something from it. We can actually take something away from it, even if it's not obvious straight out the gate. So what is the best way to use this month to your advantage? And they're just saying, 
one thing at a time, day by day, hour by hour, one step at a time, slowly but surely you can win this race, right? Um, what is the thing with the tortoise and the hare? Um, it's not the early bird gets the worm. What is that thing? Slow and steady wins the race? I think it was right the first time. If you know, let me know in the comments because my brain is just not calculating. Um, and so this is your crystal of the month and you can check it out on the blog, link in the description. I will see you in May. Thank you.